Okay, brother-in-law, I'm going to show you how to do your basement in SketchUp. The main reason why, you know, I think this is a really useful thing to do is, um, you know, first and foremost, for another reason, you can then have a bunch of floor plans that you can print out uh, multiple times, and that way you can sketch all your ideas on it and not worry about having to redraw your basement layout again and again. And also, it's good for visualization, so you can sort of look around and see what your ideas might look like, or and, uh, you know, even do things like paint tone choices and stuff like that. All right, so here we are. Here we go, and here's the dude. And first thing we're going to do is we're going to just change our toolbars. Go to View, Toolbars. I give you this nice Getting Started toolbar, but let's just get rid of that, and we'll get through with the ones that are going to be useful. Um, so there's Camera. We'll need Camera. Now let's do Construction. Drawing. There we go. Edit. Principal. Where's Principal? And let's get Views. Those are kind of the main ones we can use right now. We can always add them. Uh, a little bit of a mess, especially since I have this small window. So let's uh, reorganize that. There we go. <clears throat> okay. So the first thing is, just to let you a little quick orientation, if I press the O key, I can, you know, spin my view around, right? But uh, what we want to do first and foremost is let's change our camera to parallel projection. So basically that removes all perspective and so when you're looking at things, particularly from the top, it makes it very flat and paper-like so that way you know that you're drawing a straight line and it's not going into a hidden diagonal. Now we have these preset views up here and I find I use this one a lot, the top view, so that way we can quickly snap to the top and there's the dude again but now he's just a thin line because he's just a cardboard cutout. So, and here we go, let's get to it. So I'm going to use the hand tool, by pressing H, and just recenter things, and I use a scroll wheel to zoom in and out a lot. <clears throat> We're going to start drawing your basement. So we'll grab our pen, or our line tool, and I'm just gonna start here, and I'm gonna start drawing my line. Now you see, I can draw it any direction, but it tends to snap to an axis. So it, it, the color is red, green, and if it was going up, it would be blue. So that's kind of handy. <clears throat> now. If you look at the bottom here, you can see there is how long that length of that line is, six feet, seven feet. So I need to make this 43 feet. Now, the, as you can see though, it's a little fiddly to, to get it to exactly what you want. So the trick is, while still holding your mouse, don't let go of the mouse button, so I'm still holding the mouse, you actually type with your other hand, 43, and you start typing, you can see it changes in the bottom, and you add a little quote there, single quote for feet, 43 feet, hit enter, boom, look at that. And I've got now a 43 foot long wall. Now I accidentally double clicked on the end there. And so if I hit control Z, actually we'll just leave it in right now, we'll show it. It's easy to fix some of these mistakes. All right, so hand, move it over, get back to our line tool. Next line down is going to be 36 feet, so I'll type 36 feet. Ba-bam, and oh, let's go back to the hand again. Oh, actually, you don't have a measurement for the next wall, so I'll start from the other end over here. Mm -hmm. Oops, hit escape, and draw that down. That's going to go down along 24 feet. Oops, 34 feet. 24 feet. Bam, and then I'm going to... Go another, this one was 18 feet, feet to inches. You can see the inches mark there. Look at that. So now, if I, again, let it snap down. So let's draw my line. Oops. Look at that. I'm going to do that twice. Undo is your friend, Control Z. And as I go down here, usually it gives me a little guide when I've lined up with the bottom there, but for some reason it doesn't want to do that today. So then we'll just connect there, and there you go. It filled it in. When it fills it in, you know that's good. That means you have a nice sheet of paper. And if we then take our orbit tool, we can see there's your basement with the dude on the corner. Woohoo! All right. <clears throat> now this is where the cool stuff comes in. So back snap to the top, and we're gonna grab this cool little tool here. Where to go? Oh, that's not it. Where to go? Oh, there it is. 
and it, this is like an expand tool. So it's selecting our basement floor. And if I click on it and I pull the mouse down, you can see it's drawing a shape around the shape that's selected. All right. And it's going to make it a distance away of right now it's a foot. Let's make it, oh, no, it doesn't really matter because your walls are already built, but let's just make it something kind of thin, something maybe like, you know, six inches. I'll type it in, right? There we go. Cool. So now, again, let's look at our orbiting tool. Oops. And let's zoom in. And you can see that it's made another set of lines, exact same dimension, so to speak, or whatever, um, just on the outside. <clears throat> this is where we started here. Now it's out there. So this is where it gets cool. This is kind of fun. So we now grab our handy pull tool. Here it is. Looks like a little square with an arrow extruding out of it. And if you hover over, you notice it, it will highlight a plane surface. I don't want that one though. I want the one in between. And if I click it and I push up, oh, here we go. Instant basement. So I don't know how tall your ceiling your ceilings are. So I'm just going to say <clears throat> seven feet, six inches. Bob bam. There we go. And I see there's a little mistake here I had from before. That was that little line. So if I just use a select tool in space bar works, I can just select any line here and just hit delete. There we go. And look at that. We have your start of your basement. Now you see that little triangle chunk there. That's just because it were in the parallel projection view and Google likes to slice off the very front, I guess, so you can see in or something like that. I don't know, but if we rotate it around, you can see that it's all still there. And if we actually now go to perspective view, there we go. That looks a little bit more realistic and we can have some fun with that. All right now that blue line and red line actually is our axis. I guess it wasn't a good idea for me to start drawing this off center from the, the center of the world. So that might be a little distracting. So you might not want to do that. Cool. So here, what do we do next? Well, let's build, now that we've got this up, let's build our interior walls. If we look at your drawing, your wall is 14 feet, nine inches from the edge. So what we can do, there's two different things. We can grab a little tape measure and we put along, see how it snaps. And again, bottom corner, it shows how long it is. So if I go 14 feet, nine inches and hit enter, there you go. It's left a little tick there. And that mark is exactly 14 feet, nine inches from the edge. So let's draw our wall. We'll get a rectangle and we'll start from there. And you know, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because it's always easier to do small things when you're zoomed in. We'll draw it down to the bottom. So you can see the dimensions of that rectangle is seven and a half feet. And let's make it, actually, I don't know how thick that is. I'm going to guess that it's like five, five and a half inches. Oh no, maybe a six. Let's say six. I'm just guessing though. You'll have to find out for yourself. Let go. Now have a rectangle. Whoopee, right? Yeah. Well, here, this is where it gets kind of fun. All right. So then if I grab my handy pull tool, where does that go? There it is. And I don't want that face. I don't want that face. I want this face. And I drag it towards me. Doot. Look at that. Instant wall. Gotta like it. And, oh, hey, let's, let's do your windows here, right? So let's zoom in here. Now your window, let's get our tape measure. You said was 59 inches from the wall. So I'm gonna go da 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 da, and then 59 inches. Notice you can do like total inches or you can do feet and inches, all sorts of different things. And once again, I don't know how deep it is. So I'm just gonna make it up. I'm gonna say, hmm. You said it was four feet across though. I know that. I'm just going to ballpark this, but again, you actually, well, let's do it. Uh, let's do it four feet by two and a half. So 48 inches comma and 30 inches. There you go. So that's where your window is. And let's grab our little pull tool and we're going to push up and in and look at that window. Love it. 
So you can just keep doing this and what's, uh, let's do your other wall now. Hang on. So you, let's say we're going to do the wall pretty much right after the window down here. And I'm going to make it again, a little bit thicker than a stud plus two pieces of drywall. Well, that'll do for now. All right. And zoom out a bit. Boom. Done. Wall. And if we want to make a door, we'll just do the same trick as we did with the window. So the door is going to be, you can type in the dimensions, but if it's going to be a 30 inch door, oops, not 30 feet, 30 inches by six feet. Uh, 30 feet by six feet. Okay. Undo. Let's do that again. <laughs> so 30 inches by six feet. Here's our door. Grab our little pull tool. Bonk. And there's your door. <clears throat> so now if you decide that you want to move the door, and this is where um, you'll find that you can edit any line. Once you've drawn something, they all kind of stick together and become just one blob of things, right? So you can grab any line, and then if you move it, right, then the world gets really interesting, right? You can start doing crazy things like that, um, you know, or real. There's, I'll show you some bizarre stuff later. But so the quick, easiest way to move a door, though, once you've got the opening in here, is you grab your little pull tool, right, and then you can just slide that over and then slide that right so you can make it a big door or whatever you want right that's sort of the easiest way to do it I find um, that way you can shift it along without having to redraw everything so let's uh, <laughs> we need to make your opening so let's so where's our tape measure 19 and a half feet from the edge so 19 feet 6 inches ba bang right now actually there's another way to do that so i see i made that made that little tick but if i actually do my tape measure and i start sort of in the middle and i go 19 feet six inches you see it make it made that kind of a line that vertical guideline right <clears throat> now that the cool thing is is then you can take that vertical guideline and you can you know, know exactly where you're going to start down here for your, this is like a four foot opening you said here. But the, uh, the bad thing is, is as you can see now, there's a dashed line that goes into space. Not a big drama, but it just doesn't, tends to be a little bit annoying after a while. All right, I'm just going to be really rough on that. Boop. So there we go. Take our pull tool, push it away. Look at that. Basement coming together already. God, I like it. So let's quickly, you know, let's just do the other one too while we're at it. Hang on. So before we do though, so now you see if I snap to the top, we have a view. But if I change the camera to apparel projection, look at that. So now you have something that if you were to print that out, you can sketch all over that if you so desire, right? And what you can do as well is you can take this little dimension tool here. And if you click on one end and you click on where you want the other end to be dimensioned and then you drag it out 14.9 look at that so now when you print that out you have all your dimensions nice and handy dandy all over the place now let's see where they ended up in three space oh cool they put them at the top that's kind of fun you can always drag things around but the, that's always nice Oop, click to the top all right we're going to go over here do the other window in the other office so I'll keep it in parallel projection for the moment, just because it's easier to work in squares. Let's get my tape measure. You said it was, again, 59 inches from the edge. Here we go. And I'm going to make my rectangle. And it's about four feet. Okay, I'm going to be a little bit sloppy. You can take a little bit more time on this. Full tool. There's a window. Let's make a new wall. 
And oh, that's a really thick wall. All right. Pull tool. Boop. All right. <clears throat> and there you go. Now you can, if you really want to look at things. Oh, hey, hi, cat. How's it going? You can also take a rectangle and put one there for your ducting. Pull tool. And you can make your bulkheads. So if you want to know what that bulkhead's going to look like, right? You can do that right across. Um, could have done that actually before. So there's a lot of order of operations sometimes. But anyway, that's our, kind of what it's going to look like. I tend not to like to doing bulkheads though, um, just because when then you're viewing it from the top, the bulkheads kind of get in the way. See, like there's this bulkhead there, right? So we'll just undo that. So look at that. Back to basement, camera, perspective. Whoops. Pull tool going. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So now, what we can do is we say, all right, let's, uh, we want to go down and have a look-see, right? So you can use our orbit tool and just zoom your way in. You find though you run into this where suddenly you're on the outside of the basement, and that's a bit of a hassle, and you end up having to fiddle a bit with the H and the O tool, the hand and the orbit tool, and I'm zooming in, and it doesn't quite always rotate what you want. So the cool thing is, is if you choose this eyeball, right? then you can look around like a person and actually if you change the eye height to kind of where you're at so today you're six feet tall because i'm lazy whoop there you go uh, let's make you five foot six inches and then you can look around and you can see hey, dudes in your office and if you take the little feet you can walk over and say hi to the dude do 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 all right so that's basic construction right See, we pretty quickly were able to put this room together.